Well, it makes some people's income higher, the people who suddenly receive the minimum wage, but it makes other people's income much, much lower. So the people who don't have a job now, the people who don't produce at the level of the minimum wage. So in the United States, people are talking about raising the minimum wage of $7 to $15 an hour. Let's say you're an inner city young man, woman, and you're looking for that first job. But you know what? You got a lousy education, unfortunately. And you know what? You've never had a job in your life. And you can only produce at $6 an hour or $7 an hour. So that's, that's what you produce at. That's your value in the marketplace. Nobody, nobody's going to pay you 15 Nobody is going to lose money on you. That's not how markets work. It's not how we employ people. So nobody is going to take somebody who produces at 7 and give them 15 So what happens to that kid who only produces now at 7 He'll never have a job because you'll never get that first opportunity to learn a skill, to improve his productivity, to improve his knowledge, and rise up on that ladder of opportunity to one day make $1,000 an hour. On the other hand, if the minimum wage is zero, then I might hire the kid for $5 an hour because he can produce at seven. I'll find a job for him. There's always jobs to be had. He can work at $5 an hour and he'll learn a skill. He'll learn a job and he'll become more productive. And one day he might be my boss, who knows? There's no limit to people's opportunities once they start on that ladder of opportunity. But you gotta get on that first rung. And that first rung is not arbitrarily set by some bureaucrat. It's set by your level of production, by your abilities, by your capabilities, and by the marketplace. So government should not interfere in employee-employer relationships. It should not dictate wages, and it should certainly not dictate minimum wages. The people who suffer the most are the poorest of the poor, the people who suffer the most are the least educated, the people who suffer the most are the least productive individuals in our society. And that is a, a real tragedy. The best way to help the bottom percentile is to provide them with opportunities, that is provide them with jobs at whatever level, at whatever wages they are capable of earning. So create a free economy, free economies everywhere in the world, no matter where you try them, produce more jobs than there are people. There's always a lack of people when that's why that's why you have big immigrations into free countries because they need workers and there's not enough workers because the level of entrepreneurship is such that more and more and more jobs are created so you provide a free market where jobs are being created and you let you let people accept the jobs at whatever rate they are willing to accept them at